Hi, so in this video we're going to show you about our multi-view with the KVM function. Right now, as you can see, we have the setup here and we have a uh, full K display and we have the cable and mouse here and the speaker. And actually, here is our multi viewer and with the uh, TVM function. So, this is the front panel. Basically, you can see here we have the off and on button IR receiver and also the indicators for the HDMI inputs or the USB. And the push buttons for the uh, working mode and all the window source switching and the audio for the audio uh, channel selections. And on the back, back side, and basically, we can check out. And we have the uh, USB port for the uh, USB mouse and the USB cable and the HDMI output for the display and then we have a 3.5 DVD embedded then four HDMI inputs with the USB A and for the KVM and here we have the Oster Switch to Country and the power. And as you can see on the other side we have four laptops. So now we're going to show you how to uh, control with the Table, hotkey, and also the mouse roaming for the functions. Okay, so like right now, you can see on the screen is actually a port view, and the sound is actually coming from this video. If you want to switch in the audio from the channel one, we just use the hotkey here, which we'll is double click the country button, country, country, A, and one. So as you now you can hear the sound that actually coming out from the uh, channel one. If you want to channel three, we also do see. Country, country, A and 3. And now the audio is basically coming from this PC. And if I hear the sound from this one, we also do the same country, country, A and 4. So basically right now the sound is coming from this one. If you wanna if I don't if right now we don't want this code view, we wanna have this one as a full screen, we also can do uh working mail switching, use the uh, double uh, press the country button, country, country, F1. So now we already have it as the first screen from the laptop one. And now we can just use the mouse to control this PC. And it, like right now, if I have this, uh, start playing the music and play the music again. Uh, next music. Okay, so this is uh, how, how we switch to the uh, laptop one. If we switch to the laptop two, I will start the same. Country, country, two. And now we will switch to the uh, input 2, which is from the laptop 2. And country country 3, which is from the input 3. And country country 4, from the uh, input 4. As you can see, these four sources are supposed to be semi switching. And it's actually no blue or black screen during the switches. Okay, so this is about the source switching. If you want to switch in the working mode, also country country F2 that means we have two windows on this display okay and country country F3 we will have three windows and country country F4 and we'll back to the code view okay and uh, if you want to do the resolution switching also we can use the uh, country country F7 we will switch to a different resolution which is the uh, we can check out so the resolution right now is uh, uh, 1920 by 1200. If I want to switch to the 4K60, we can just country country F10. That means we will switch to the uh, 4K60 resolution. We can check out. So you can see this is the uh, 4K60 resolution here. And if I want to switch in the um, the mouse roaming between these uh, four. PCs like right now we actually can roam in from the first PC to second or to third or we can just roam in the mouse from any uh, positions to any of the PC directly. But if we want to start roaming we can just use the hotkey as well and we'll just press uh, country country F12. Then we will start the mouse roaming. As you can see right now we only can have the mouse on this PC not able to roam to the other PCs. If I enable the mouse roaming function, we just turn on it. Country, country, F11. Now we can just roam in between the four pieces. Okay, so this is about. Uh, we also can use this IR remote control for the source switching. But right now, if we're gonna just back to the uh, channel one, and also we can just switch the source. 
Improve three, improve two, improve one. If you wanna, we also can have the walking mode switching. This one is the uh, single walking mode. Two windows. Picture in picture. Three windows. Three windows with picture in picture. And we back to the cold view. We also can just use the hotkey directly for the uh, back to the cold view. Like right now, if you wanna back to the cold view, we just call. And then we have the audio button here as well. So if you want to hear the sound, we can just uh, hit the audio button. Basically, you can see a red square on the uh, input channel, which means we can hear the sound from that channel. Okay, so we have a multi view, but you still want to have the image roaming function, uh, image rotating function. So basically, our multi viewer can support this function. We can just use this IR remote control for the uh, image rotate in both of this uh, cold view mode or the single walking mode. Like right now, we have the cold view, and basically, we have the road to one, road two, road three, and road four here. Like right now, if we hit the road one, and you can see this one already rotate 100 degrees, and road back, we're back to the image, and rotate uh, one and two and three and four and right now you can see we already have these four uh, images are rotating rotating 100 180 degrees we also can have all of them rotate back and we also can have this one uh, switching to the uh, single walking mode and when the single walking mode we can just rotate different uh, degrees like right now we rotate 90 degrees and 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then rotate back and switch to the uh, input two. We also can do the same. And input input three. At least do it for your kid. Big mistake, kid. And input four. So basically, um, this multi-viewer not only supposed to be a multi-viewer TVM, but also can do the uh, image rotating function, including the uh, single walking mode or the multi-view walking mode. Okay, thank you.